depth to catch that. And that is a good shot. On his pads, through the line. It's a boundary. Waka Yunus lost patience first. Tried something different. Tried to zero in on the pads. He's been beating the bat time and time again. The BVS Laxman swinging it and just bouncing it past the outside edge like that. Waka lost his patience, tried something. Full half volley on the stumps. Whipped away in BVS's favourite position. That's out. That's well caught. Very well caught. Forcing it off the back court. That's a breakthrough. It's one for 15. Very sharp catch at square leg. Greedy took the catch Bye. at the middle of the bat. Wacky Unis is struck. He's struck. He's tried a straight shorter one. Whipped beautifully. Really off the middle, and Afridi, the exciting Pakistani replacement in this match, takes the catch to support Wako Yunus's bowling skill. VVS Laxman gone, gone for nine. India are one for 15. Pakistan bowling pretty well, very tight at the moment. Of course, uh, the Indians trying to build a, a solid base here for a decent score. But they've lost uh, the wicket of VVS Laxman. He was out uh, playing quite a positive shot, but it was in the air. He's got plenty of runs uh, with that shot in the previous game, the test match at Sydney, where he uh, got 167, playing the flick uh, from around the off stump. He wasn't able to keep the ball in the air. Nice sharp catch that by Shahid Afridi. In the air, oh, and uh, wide of gully. Well, that was right off the middle of the bat, and four. Well, he's very strong in that area. He'll have a go, and the fieldsman there had better be on their toes. He does hit uh, the ball powerfully through the offside, Saurav Ganguly, but this is a quicker pitch, and he's got to get right on top of it. This is uh, hit up in the air for quite a while. And there was he, Makram, who went wicketless yesterday, looking to get his uh, wicket today. Oh, and that's four. Probably off the pads, though. Yes, four leg buys. That's one of the problems with the swinging ball in one-day cricket. If you don't get it exactly in the right place, it, uh, it tends to be offline a little bit. And you only need a small deflection when the ball's about going as fast as this. Yes, he had the right idea, trying to get the ball to come back into the left-hander. It's well played, beats mid on. <laughs> Running away down towards the boundary. This is a fast outfield, it's gone all the way to lots of Indians here, and uh, that'll uh, bring a smile to their faces. Not to mention the millions watching this telecast right across India and Pakistan. For sure, Tony, I think there might not be too many people at the ground here today, but uh, close to 80, 90 million watching this game on television. Oh, and uh, that one's short. The idea was right. Wide given as well. Waka not all that happy about that one. Yes, I think he perhaps should have been cutting that one as opposed to trying to pull it away. Yes, I think he's decided to come out and be positive, play his shot, so he sees the ball a little short. And this is really a nothing shot. Uh, you wouldn't want to see it on the highlights uh, tonight. Well, there's that cut shot again into the gap. He plays it very well. Running away to the fence for four. And, uh, well, all the Indians here are now out of their seats. They're enjoying this. They've been waiting patiently for a few boundaries. Just a little bit of width. That's what uh, Saurav Ganguly is looking for. The ball was shorter in length as well, so he got the, the length, he got the width, and he got the placement right.
Into the gap again, four. Beautiful shot. Well, there was a lot of talk about uh, whether this pitch was good for batting. Going by yesterday's uh, result, not too many runs on the board, but this is a very, very good pitch for batting. The ball comes on quite nicely. And if you get into position, and if there's not too much deviation, you're in for some uh, boundaries. Very nicely executed by uh, Saurav Ganguly. Offline, well played. Oh, and the fumble. It's a claim. That's the second time that uh, he's fumbled. Rossi uh, Matram uh, hasn't given him the glare. Mr. Claim played a very, very good hand yesterday. Very, very competitive cricketer. One for 50. Drive it on eight. Ganguly, the man who's scoring most of the runs at the moment, on 22. Shoab is going to continue. That's out, caught behind. Yes, it's a wide delivery. He's gone after it, and uh, big uh, nick there, and uh, nicely taken. Well, um, that really was a wide delivery. Bold, relatively well pitched up, and that's very often why batsmen go after them. So, uh, Akta has uh, got himself a wicket. And uh, have another look at this. I think it's the length that drew him out there. Nice uh, nick and nicely taken by Mo and Khan too. Up goes Okta, I think just for a second there, he didn't realise the batsman was walking and the umpire's finger was enough. So uh, that's the end of Rahul Dravid. Score now, two for 50. Sachin Tendulkar at the crease to face Show Bakhtar and uh, it gives him a quick one to start with. Right up there in the block hole, after having got uh, Rahul Dravid with a wide one. Yes, Rahul Dravid, having a tough time this summer. Bogged down during the test matches now in the one day as he's looking to force the pace. Shouts of catch and it's gone down. Just carried to the covers, but Yusuf Yohana couldn't grab it. What a drop for Pakistan. This will show back to remove the Australian captain yesterday for naught. First ball with the in swinger. This one was the out swinger. Dukha drives, hit it nicely, hit it very sweetly. Straight to Yusuf Yohana and put it down. And they really regret that later in the innings. They had to dive forward at it. Never really ever got it in the centre of the hands. Seemed to hit uh, out on the fingertips and just went straight to ground. And that's a good way to get off the mark. And straight drive. So recall seeing the the uh, quarter final between these two teams in Bangalore in the '96 uh, World Cup and. Uh, even the, the fans then, the Indian fans, were frightened that as long as Javed was at the crease, that uh, Pakistan might do something miraculous and win that game. It was a magnificent uh, spectacle, that quarter-final. And Chase for Sakhlain and Yusuf Yohana. Yohana it is who gets there first. of Ganguly against Sakhlain Mushtaq. Sakhlain's dropping that one short. Very good players of the spin bowling Indians. From that, the flash. It's an epic strike and uh, not a great attempt at mid-off. The 
was, and that ground was the bending fielder. It was a little unfortunate. It just seemed to take a bit of a hop on him as he went for the dive. It was a beautiful off drive. Tenduka nicely struck. Just got a bad bounce there. Certainly too good for Wazzy Macram. That's an excellent shot. He nearly cleaned up Ganguly. Ganguly still going around in circles. Worrying sign for Pakistan. Since Tendulkar starts playing the straight drive, you know he's in good form. Beautiful shot. Sarah Ganguly almost for that one. Good shot. Just miss me next time, will you? And off has been pushed back. Akar is in that position. Well, before this over. Such a Tenduka had something like three runs off 20 balls. Now got 13 of 25. Looks like he's just pushed the butt. So it's time to get moving here. It's a good wicket. That field's fast. It's time to up the scoring rate. Oh, what a good delivery. A good comeback by the young quickie up to Rozak, who had great success against Australia last night has knocked the middle stump right out of the ground oh huge wicket for pakistan just saying that such a look looked like he pushed the button hit the go button this one ducking in from the off straight through the indian captain it's an excellent delivery he's absolutely delighted so are all his teammates pakistan now sorry now india now three for 76. Rishikesh Kanitka, the new man in, after a big wicket for Pakistan, getting rid of Sachin Tendulkar. In the commentary position now, Tony Gregg with Richie Benno. Yes, what a ball that was. Magnificent uh, delivery. Clay now continuing, and uh, a quick single. Just took a little bit too long. I think he should have underarmed that one. And uh, that would have been a run out, that's for sure. Owen's not very impressed. Uh, he was right in the firing line here, yeah, really. All it needed, probably would have just made it. All it needed was a little underarm flick there. It's the quickest way to get the ball, the stumps in that situation. The wicket that would have been run out, followed, uh, following the uh, dismissal of Tendulkar. Would have been out of their seats as that happened. He's such a dangerous player, Sachin Tendulkar. Now, what you've got to watch here is the ball nipping back off the seam. It just nips back, and I think it probably clipped his pad. Just there, and uh, well, out goes the middle stump. You don't often see Sachin Tendulkar's middle stump lying flat in the ground. Oh, that's out. It's caught behind. Yes, well bowled. That one bounced a little bit. That's very well bowled. It's that little bit of bounce you get here at the Gabba. It's spun a little bit as well. And so Suck Lane has got a wicket as well. Pakistan are on a roll. Nothing good is happening for India at the moment. Tendulkar gone now. Uh, Kanitka just left him a fraction, but the bounce Tony Gregg talked about was certainly there. It was up, well, not quite on the shoulder of the bat, but not far off. And it was pretty well caught by Mohan Khan as well. It's four for 77. So Robin Singh, the new batsman, and um, he's just 36 years of age, plays oh, in their one-day side, but uh, not in their test side. Strike rate of 79, and um, well, that average is not that impressive. Very often he has to come in and get runs quickly. Oh, and uh, just outside, uh, well, just, just out of the reach there of Akram. Just throw himself around though, Akram, he dives around all over the place. That's a pretty good example. Oh, in the air and into the gap. Well, just for a second, that looks as if it was going straight to the fieldsman. 
He started off with a slower ball there, not just because um, he might be coming back for a spell and he's not totally loosed. It was a good deceptive ball. Oh, a bold and... Uh... Oh, he's hit the stumps, but I think uh, the batsman is home there. Ganguly was backing up very well. And uh, I think he knows that he was safe. But that's a much better effort. Underarming it at the stumps is a, a much better idea in situations like this. Just a... Oh, I think that was a catch. I think he dropped it, Moen Khan. It was a top spinner, went on. Looked like a genuine nick there from Robin Singh, and he put it down. He's not a big turner of the ball, uh, Shahid Afridi, and uh, oh, that was a big nick. Oh, another one, but there's no slip in. Just clips the gloves of Moen Khan, it races away, possibly for four. Well fielded. Brings up the 100. Four, it's all happening, and not good news for Pakistan. That was well bowled again. Well, Robin Singh does uh, tend to open the face of the bat and uh, run the ball down to third man. He does that very well against the medium-paced bowlers. Shahid Afri, the quicker leg spinner, doesn't uh, turn the ball much and uh, almost a similar kind of shot where he had an escape a couple of deliveries earlier. And going where first slip would have been. Just opening the face of the bat a little bit, not too much. It's nicely played. It's found the gap beautifully. Third man's trying hard, won't get it. Got a strike out of 80, Robin Singh. Averages around about 27. There's plenty of overs left. And very well played the shot. Uh, waited uh, till the very end. And then uh, found the gap. This was a slower delivery. Not too much of width there. But enough for Robin Singh to transfer his weight onto the back foot. Century for Sura Ganguly. Been tied down. He lost Tendulkar at uh, an awkward moment. He's still got a big job to do. He's got to be there at the end. Fielder didn't have time even to get on his toes. Just watched it flash past. Really releases his wrists on his offside shots, and that's how he gets his power. And was behind point. Well, there is a man at uh, Deep Pine Lake, but he's a bit wide for that. Now, this is where the acceleration needs to come. It's sensible cricket from Sorovic Ganguly. He's gone uh, now on to 58. Robin Singh's 30. Partnership, a very handy 61. No risks at all. Razak giving them a couple outside off, and now the one angled into the pads. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah. Well, that's brilliantly run. The ball only went uh, 30 metres from the stumps at the bowler's end and they still got two and the reason for that is that uh, Wajim Akram because they took the run earlier in the over he put himself down at fine leg you could see that Ganguly might have been trying to ease one around there first ball after the shoulder injury drinks break etc and Surab Ganguly is gone with uh, what seemed to be to be a ball he might have made into a Yorker. Joe Bakhtar's return. Two for 18 off 6.1 now. Very clever piece of bowling. Slower ball off spinner. Ganguly looking for the thunderbolt. Didn't get it. Akhtar straight into the attack. Enjoying his double header in Brisbane. Ganguly going for 61, India 5 for 143. 
was onto Inzabab's left hand. Gave him the opportunity there for a run out. Direct hit might have been interesting. I don't think anyone running between the wickets realised he is a left hander. Yes, OVW. Looked as though he was going across a bit there. It also looked as though uh, the ball was coming from off to leg. And another breakthrough. And certainly darted back sharply. Well, Steve Davis has uh, given it the upraised finger. Six for 150 India at the moment. Well deserved promotion for Anil Kumble. He batted very well in the Test series. He's coming in ahead of uh, a struggling Agurka. No slip. But Kumble has got away with it and rewarded with a boundary. Yes, well, Kumble has decided the time has come to have a go at the off-spinner. I think he was trying to hit this one straight over his head for six. Didn't quite work out like that, but he got four. That's hit beautifully. Absolutely pumped through the covers. Yes, yeah, not a good ball. Short and, uh, well, he's very effective. He's done this sort of job over the years pretty well and that's uh, certainly brought a smile to the faces of some of those Indians well run or direct hit so uh, Steve Davis is calling for the replay but I think you'll find that uh, Singh is home for his 50 well uh, he'd, he'd be hoping so his direct hit sometimes uh, surprises us. That's Waka Yunus there. Um, in comes the throw. Where is Robin Singh? Yeah, looks as if he's fine. Oh, he's long way in. He's uh, back on the ground and so uh, well played. It's a man at long on. And he's taken it. Well judged. Waka Yunus uh, getting under that one and just taking it very firmly. Yes, uh, he's pretty safe in the outfield. He caught that one no trouble at all. And, uh, this is a big wicket. But, uh, right at the end, they needed a bit more hitting from Robert Singh. He decided to try and clear Wakai down on the deep long run boundary, but uh, here we are, no trouble at all. Wakai takes the catch and um, brings a smile to the, spot, the face of Saklain Robert Singh. Out for 50, 7 for 186. looking for two the close thing he's gone I think yep he's gone a mile he's, uh, Agurka was much quicker than Kumlai and I think he uh, he probably should have knocked back the second run yes it's a lousy feeling when you are uh, charging down and you know you're not going to quite make it it uh, wasn't a bad throw in either right alongside the stumps he was on the back foot when he played the shot so Took a bit of time to get going. Picks up there, and this is where uh, it started to go bad for him. We realised that uh, he just wasn't going to make it. Up goes the finger, and uh, well, that's the end of Kumbli. Thanks, Hanson, for being here. Short of the show back, Tarrant long on. Trinath coming back for two. Oh, no, Agurka suddenly uh, is stopped but miles from his crease that was a ridiculous piece of running yes uh, this was opus uh, he set off didn't uh, notice at any stage and until too late in the piece that his partner was definitely not coming he didn't really get uh, hold of that one in comes the throw and uh, have a look at that he's halfway down the pitch and um, his partner's there saying Savagoshina saying, uh, no, we're not going to run there. And, uh, so that's the end of that. 
Red Sunat really uh, did leave him high and dry. He started to come back for the second. He encouraged Agurka to run and then uh, suddenly decided against it. Joeb obviously knew that uh, that he was gone. You see there, he came a long way down before he said no, no. He was uh, well, probably two to three metres out of his crease before he said no. And gone. Ozzy Macram finishes the innings off. And he's gone right through uh, Trunat. So Pakistan have bowled India out. A bit of swing there. That one completely beat uh, Srinath. Crashed into off stump. So, a bit of a collapse at the end there for India. A couple of uh, run outs. And then uh, Srinath bowled for a duck. So the end of the Indian innings, 195 runs in all. They'll be disappointed they didn't go through and complete the 50 overs. Top scorer Saurav Ganguly with 61 and Robin Singh showing what a valuable member he is in this Indian team. 50 from 84 balls, a little contribution from Kumble at the end and the 30 extras, they came in pretty handy as well. 195 all out then, India, the Pakistan bowling attack, once again dominated by Shoaib Akhtar. 3 for 19 from 8 overs but very good supporting roles from just about everyone. A wicket each to Wasim Akram, Vakar Yunus and Abdul Razak. Razak getting the big one off Tendulkar and then Sir Klein Mushtaq. Two for thirty-four. New Diet Coke. Taste the power of one. Good positive start. Beautifully timed. Straight through the line. That's four. Superb batting. Just the full maker's name at the ball and straight through the line. Well, that's as good a shot as we've seen, not just from this match, but from the last night's match as well. A foolish ball from Javagal Srinath. Anwar gives it the full face and just punches it down the ground. Beautifully timed. He goes again. This time he probably won't get four, but he's just pushed this one past mid off. And quicker chase and hard, they'll get three. Because a Freedy's a good athlete. That's a very good start. As so we talk about the strike zone and the good length, when you've got a new ball, you've got to try and get it in the fullest position. You weave the mid off and mid on open so they will drive, but you've got to move the ball. That pitch is right on a good length, but to the fuller side of a good length. He sits straight through the line as a good batsman should. He's out. Yes, he's gone. First ball, straight to second slip. Well, what an over. Seven runs in the wicket. Joe goes from Anthony's. He did in the test match, just struck with a new ball. That's with four balls into the game. We've seen a boundary of another off drive. Now wicket. Just a bit short of length. Just moved away slightly from Afridi, who followed it. Succeeded in just edging it straight to BVS Laxman. A second slip. A big breakthrough. Just the start India needed. An early wicket. Afridi departs first ball. Pakistan one for seven. His arm at number three. Pakistan one for seven in the first over. Good strike rate, reasonable average. Two slips of gully in. Well, that's a good start. Heading through the line, the half volley, good length. This is a fascinating start. Ten runs and a wicket in the first over so far. Three good shots. And a good dismissal. Nicely played. It's past mid on Prasad. Good run here at the Gabba. The King will get three. That's well run. Section cricket for me, Jazz Ahmed. Timed that nicely through the onside, then ran very hard and very well. Looked like it was going to be reasonably comfortable too, but he ran particularly well, particularly hard, you can see here. And that's well struck, over mid-off, beautifully timed, and one on a dangerous move. That's just an excellent cricket shot. It's certainly not a slog, that's a very good shot. Well, wasn't quite a half volley from Vinkatish Prasad. Side anyway, just played deliberate, lofted off drive. 
Beautiful shot. Didn't quite time it. it hit so straight, it didn't matter. So Anwar and uh, Ijaz Ahmed had a, no mind at all getting on the front foot and giving it a thrash. Evening, Sunil. Evening, Richie. Yes, uh, the, uh, the Pakistan is certainly uh, very confident against the Indians. Uh, Say then what in particular has been batting quite beautifully. Don't think there would be very much doubt about that. Umpire Harper is drawn into a decision making mode very, very quickly. He's out there facing Steve Davis, he's done a muscle. Nothing wrong with the muscle in umpire Harper's index finger. And this is good bowling by Agarpur. He's pitched the previous ball uh, shorter and then he's pitched this one up. Spinning uh, Ijaz Ahmed on the back foot to no man's land. A simple decision for the umpire to make. Agarkar is delighted. Pakistan now are two for 36. Two for 36 here at the Gabba. Pakistan against India. Pakistan chasing 196 for victory. They kept uh, India down in uh, the run getting stakes. Uh, what a good shot it was uh, in the in the end a fractionally hurried stroke was the ball got onto him a bit quickly but he still played it very well with the full face of the bat yes he had to hurry up for that shot because the ball nipped back uh, quite smartly agar will be disappointed disappointed because two runs uh, came off that and they don't have a big total to defend Is he doing? Now why would a batsman do that? Goodness me. Never ceases to amaze me. They've got a bat in their hands. Beautifully bold. And Jamal Hakka perhaps uh, thinking back on those outswingers that Agarfred bowled him earlier on. Padding up to a delivery which uh, has come in. He's out plumb leg before, not offering a shot. It's 3 for 42. That's nicely played. Look as though he actually took it off his stumps. It wasn't uh, outside the leg stump and turned away down to fine leg. It was a very good shot, just a little roll of the wrist. Agar uh, straying on the pads. Batsman of the subcontinent, very, very good off their pads. Oh, he's got him. He's in it straight to backward point like a rocket. Well, look at the celebration here. They all know how important this is. Saeed Anwar, looking so settled on 24, has gone for the big booming drive, not quite off the middle of the bat. And uh, it's flown in the air to backward point. On the up as well, risky shot. Only manages to slice it straight to Robin Singh at point. And the celebrations way over the top. Really happy with that. 15 overs. Four for 55. Good line and four through the slip cordon. Nicely bounced there, it uh, was just short and just kept going. Well, a little bit of frustration there from Javagal Srinath, but a good over, 4 for 59. Keepers who spend so much time over the top of the stumps in their domestic cricket at home, they may spend all of a day over the stumps. Very small opening spells by fast bowlers. Oh, big appeal there for LBW. Yes, he's got him. He's got him. He's given him out. Well, there was a double noise there. And uh, Razak is not very happy. The, inter the replay will be quite interesting. Well, they keep getting wickets, don't they? And this is another big one. He's threatened to do this all over. It's his first over. But he's zeroed in 
on the line of the stumps. No spin, sliding straight on. If you stay in your crease, that's what you risk happening. Simon Torfel raises the finger. Anil Kumble, one wicket in his first over. Pakistan now five down, 64 on the board. Well, good shot. Beautifully played away. Well, we've uh, said before that he might have to do it. Today might have to be his day. Johanna getting that one through the onside beautifully. He's uh, a lovely stroke, stroke maker. But Pakistan have got batting problems. There's no doubt about that. Have a look at the last night's card. This was in the match against Australia. The top order did absolutely nothing. Johanna was out for a duck last night. Today is uh, making amends. But uh, look at the bottom order. Mo and Wazim both coming in there and doing very well. So Klain and Waka. They saved the day. God, that's the catch of the season. That is a ripper at square leg. One hand went out. Very good pull shot. Driver takes the catch of the season. And India on top at 6 for 71. No one cannot believe it. What a catch. There was nothing wrong with his back foot play on that occasion. No one can't picked it up uh, reasonably early. May not have quite got it in the middle, perhaps uh, a little bit up towards the splice. But the reactions of uh, Rahul Dravid, very, very good. He's a bat patter uh, a lot of the time. You need good reflexes there. Well, he showed them on that occasion. And the bowler, well, he really couldn't get over there quickly enough to thank his teammate. Terrific catch from Rahul Dravid and uh, a very important wicket for India. Mohan Khan is gone at 6 for 71. New Diet Coke. Mazam Akram, the skipper, comes in at 6 for 71. Seeing all the skills of the one-day game here. It's a good bowling by Jabbergov Smart, keeping it nice and tight, very sharp. Driver taking a gem of a catch. Yes, it was just purely a reflex job. Hit pretty hard. No time to think about it. It's just throw yourself and hope that you get it in the middle of the hand. And that's exactly where he got it. Full pitch, beautifully struck. Long hit. Just a fraction short of the rope. It was well timed. Six for 78. It's a very good shot. You have to run them properly. Read it wasn't accurate. Left handers, uh, left handed batsmen have had probably more success against Anil Kumble than the right handers. Particularly uh, the Sri Lankan left handers have given him a bit of uh, trouble over the years. Good shot the gap oh well fielded very good effort gets a run in oh dear careless cricket Sonil Joshi the substitute fielder has a strong uh, throwing arm and he made it a good throw bouncing it in not trying to go all the way Before. The outside edge. Okay, Gouli has uh, bowled quite a decent over there, six for 110. Yeah. That will be consternation in the Pakistan dressing room. And we saw Afghan Gouli has done the trick. Seven for 120. It's an exciting game of cricket. Low scoring. But Ganguly has broken through and he's picked the wicket of the Pakistan captain. Well, Invader came onto the field, but obviously working for the Indians. He's taken Ozzy Macram's concentration. The Indian fans are delighted. Ozzy Macram, the Pakistani captain, departs. 
So Rev Ganguly knocks him over. Seven for 120. running away to the boundary that'll go for four if you can get anything away fine offside or onside the chances are on this fast outfield you'll get four good shot just short pulled away down the mid wicket that'll go for four and what's more that's his half century a very timely half century as well Yusuf Johanna Blesses himself there, he's uh, a Christian in the side. And uh, that was a, a beautiful shot. Pulled it away, right off the middle of the bat. Oh, it just wide of the keeper again, and that will be 4-2. If you can get past the keeper, fine, it's going to go for four. Now then, should he caught that one, or was it just a little short of him? He's actually playing that shot very well. Playing it very late, almost at the last moment, and then opening the face of the bat. Slow ball, and it's got him. Good change of pace. Received a man on 63, Sanaa. He's the hero tonight. He's bowled superbly. That was beautifully bowled. And it was really a big change of pace. In fact, the Johanna saw it. Digay was able to cover a few metres here to get to it because it was travelling so slowly. Would have gone to about second or third slip. So a very good change of pace, uh, pace by Srinath. And uh, they've got a big breakthrough. Pakistan 8 for 153. Good hit, it's a long hit. That's a big six, two nights in a row. He's cleared the straight hit. Beautifully timed last night was McGrath tonight's enough. Beautifully struck. It was a very good shot. He, he just gave himself a little bit of room, Suck Lane. Just moved slightly to the onside. But that wasn't uh, anywhere near a half volley. In fact, it was uh, quite short. Cuts brilliantly. That'll be four almost. Points coming around. Finds a rope, superb shot. Too short, too wide. Well, he's been talking to the right batsman, Sarkwane, because he's improved his batting enormously. This is a very good shot. It was a quick delivery, bouncing, and uh, he wasn't able to quite get on top of it, but he timed it beautifully. Four off three. It's playing on strike as well. We go over the top. He doesn't. He gets it bottom edge. They should get two here. No, says Wacky Innocent. Probably a good call in the end. And so it was a good, uh, good throw. And I think what Wacky realised that was a man with a powerful arm. Ajita Gurkha in the deep, and uh, he has a strong arm. And he wasn't all that deep. He was only just outside the circle. Single heel will make it interesting. You only need a boundary. It's a wide, surely. It's called a wide, can be run out? No, he's not. Wide called. And once again, uh, Waka kept his head. He, I think he was, uh, well, he was probably hoping that it was going to be called a wide. So Klein uh, was running, but he was saying, go back, I've got the wide, the one run. And he was smart enough to stay in his crease. Well, this is a great game, isn't it? Two off two. What happens here? There's one of them. So at the moment, it's a tie. Well, a huge appeal for LBW. The keeper looks very, very disappointed. Pakistan. 
What a dramatic finish then to that game. The total 200 for eight. Those additional four runs from the overthrows added on. And they got there once again because of the tail. 71 for six at one stage. Then Johanna, 63 from 83 balls, played the innings of the match. Wasim Akram, 24. Saklen, Mushtaq and Wakar Yuna, they did it once again for Pakistan. 27 not out and 13 not out. Once again, those 23 extras were quite handy. Jabagal Srinath picked up four wickets, but he was expensive. Four for 49 from 10 overs. Ajit Agarkar, two for 39. Prasad and Kumle did well. Prasad, a mere 25 from his 10 overs. Kumle had one for 35 and the support cars didn't do badly at all. Nine overs between them for Ganguly and Robin Singh and they picked up one for 36. So, Pakistan winning both their matches in this uh, Tri-Nation tournament here in Australia and that'll do their chances of qualifying for the final no harm at all. But there's more, man more cricket coming up here on uh, Star Sports and uh, that starts with Australia